So for this one, it says that there's a zero group on bond and we give us all three terms. There's a fully a swap with the notional amount two and k and the swap has an old settlement. Okay, so off of this still a the fixed swap which is R. And uh, Philip is going to pay Josh the variable rate. The one year swap rate at the end of the year, determine the net swap payment at the end of the first year. Okay, well, first things first, we want to determine how much money uh, Josh is going to pay Philip by determining the uh, fixed rate multiplied by the net swap rate. So, what we're going to do is uh, since this is a four year swap, we're going to only determine these. And uh, what we see from here is that the 0.965 R plus, because these are already in my present value form, so we don't have to discount anything. 0.920 R plus. 0.875R plus 0.825R That is um, again in the format of a notional since we see the beginning and the end and so the whole thing is equal to the end. Trying to find the full rate from zero to one, but all we have left is this price of 0.965 for one year. So we're going to have to determine the swap rate. So we're going to set up the price equation equals one over one plus swap rate of one, one, and then we're going to put this all over cross multiply the range of this one divided by 0.965. Well, I actually get the variable rate of 0 0.36269. It's multiplied by the notional amount 200,000, and we're going to get 7,253.8601. Now we're able to turn the net swap payment, so I'm going to subtract it from this. Next, 9762.9. And I'm going to end up getting that there's a difference of 2,509. So we're going to cross out this. We're going to cross out this. And we're going to cross out this, right? So if there's a difference of 2,509. Obviously, this is greater than, this is a greater payment than what Gil has to pay. So, there is supposed a gain of 2509, a gain of 